Yes, all is well. Those dolphins sent us to the other side of the currents. And one more thing, Captain, and I'm asking this with no little intention. Uh, may I know your lineage? Thank you. I wish your next mission would be trouble-free too. The members of the Razor Squad are all humans. It's clear then. Real numbers refer to Arcanists, and imaginary numbers mean humans. Then what is the rest of this nonsense? Sonetto, Vertin, and this apple are integers. While Miss Lilia and I are fractions. Don't bother asking. I'm pure blood. This apple is also made of pure apple juice. I only consume 1.5 volt DC. So it's not determined by our lineage, or Regulus would have been an integer too. So why on earth am I the irrational number? Why only me? Oh, unfair! I demand the ruling to be changed. Shut up. We grappled hard to get you on this island. So you have no choice but to stay in the worst guest room. Do you call this a guest room? A cell more like? Perhaps this piece of news will cheer you up. We are prisoners in the world, and our body is the cage of the soul. Oh, cut me a break. Might as well play some rock music. Hmm. Seems the residents on this island venerate integer numbers. And irrational numbers while well, the non-terminating, non-repeating decimals cannot be represented as the ratio of two integers, hence they are discriminated. No, no, no! Who are they to judge and decide me to be the irrational number? I... I was the only person who didn't cause any damage to the Foundation in the previous protest! Oh, why do I get to have the worst of both worlds? I've requested information from Miss Mazel about Apiron, but it will take some time for the files to come in. The captain of the Razor's Special Operations Squad told me this might be a settlement of a group of Arcanists who have been long cut off from the world. Unlike other unregistered Arcanists, these people chose not to live alongside the humans. They still lead an ancient Arcanist way of life and follow the old customs. We must be meticulous when getting in touch with them. But they used modern mathematical terms. And that girl talked about Caprica. He was an Indian mathematician active in the first half of the 20th century. I think they are not living in complete isolation. They are still in contact with the outside world. This place wouldn't be affected by the storm, just like the Elitial base, the Foundation headquarters, and my suitcase. The travel notes in 1999, Manus Vindicte showing up in Elitial's base. The storm, or emanation, they must be somehow connected. And we'll find our answer here, I think. Very energetic, Capitan. By the way, how come nobody is here to welcome us? They wouldn't suddenly decide to detain us all just because we have an irrational number here, 
right? I'm with you all the time. Six asked me to welcome you. Oh, scares me again. What were you doing hiding in the corner? Because it seemed you were in the middle of proving a conjecture. According to the scripture, disturbing others when they are giving proof of their arguments is as sinful as eating beans. I don't want to be bound to the rocks of the Caucasus Mountain and have vultures eat my eyes after my death. Eating beans? Eating beans is the sin of sins. The biggest, worst, and ugliest crime. People eating beans will never transmigrate. They deserve nothing but eternal punishment. What? Are you serious? Is this rule only for soybeans? What about broad beans? Snow peas? Chickpeas? And what does it say about other bean-based products? Beans are beans. <laughs> You're funny. This doesn't even make sense. By this logic, aren't the coffee drinkers going to rot in hell? I happen to have a box of coffee beans in my bag. If I put one coffee bean in my mouth, will the vulture get me right away? No way! Whoa, easy mate. Do you want to get physical? This pirate is not scared of you. <laughs> That's not fair! The critters are coming to your aid! This is not good. We need to separate them. Here. The 
37, let go of the guest's head. Now. Sorry that I'm late. I'm Sophia, the corrector of Apiron. I will take over from here. Oh, finally! We have an ordinary person here. Please, let's talk on the way to the outside. 